Mark, what made you decide that you wanted to have like a recreation pond in your backyard? Well, uh, I knew I wanted a water feature. Um, so for years I was planning on maybe uh, some type of ornamental pond to put in the background. Um, and then as, as COVID hit, you know, working from home every day, staring out into my backyard, um, I just started watching pond videos and looking at contractors and seeing, you know, how big I can go and, um, you know, how good it gets, where the technology is these days. And, um, you know, that's what led me to Greg Whitstock, the pond guy. Um, and as I was watching his videos, I came across you. You know, I came across Alan Decker and I was like, oh man, he's local. And um, as I was just continuing to do research for months and months, I came across recreational ponds and swim ponds. And, uh, you know, I didn't realize that I basically could combine a pond and a pool together. Um, so when I found out that a rec pond was possible, that you could have a pond that you could swim in with fish, um, and I could have a waterfall like this, you know, it was an absolute no-brainer at that point. So you, you've you already, how many fish do you have in here already? And it's only a couple weeks old. Well, yeah, I, I, apparently I'm starting to really like fish more than I thought I would. <laughs> Um, going into it, I, that wasn't the initial plan. I was going to get some big exotic fish, but um, I've had this set up for what, maybe two and a half, three weeks now. Um, I have 40 koi, um, I have five largemouth bass, and I have five Chinese hyphen banded sharks. So uh, yeah, it's exciting. You know, and I definitely want to get more. I mean, if you come back next year, you'll probably see 10, 15 turtles. I have all types of land turtles, you know, burrowed over there on my beach. Um, of course, I'll have the fence all solidified underneath, so uh, nothing will be able to get out. And uh, you know, this is going to be a paradise back here for the for the animals, for the fish, for the reptiles, for the amphibians. Um, you know, I'm looking to uh, you know to get some salamanders too, some tiger salamanders. So I'll be having them as well. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm excited. So, the first time I met you, I I knew that you would be a perfect candidate for a recreation pond because, quite honestly, it's not for everybody. Yeah. But you brought the boys, and you guys yeah. came to our yard and looked around, yeah. and you were like super excited back then. Yeah. What? I mean, you you also we have a beach area. Yeah. So you that was one of your things. As soon as we, before we even started, you're like, what about a beach? Yeah. Well, I mean, I knew it was going to be awesome. You know, I saw the amount of videos that you did. And um, I mean, honestly, my opinion, I thought you were one of the best in the world to do it. So I, I looked at that as an opportunity for me, you know, to hire a guy that's one of the best artists in the world. And, um, you know, I want to invest in that opportunity. So, you know, you know what could I do back here to, to maximize the space that I had available to me? Um, so, yeah, I wanted to do a beach. You know, I, I wanted to do, you know, the best waterfall I could possibly have. And uh, I wanted to swim with the fish. I wanted it to be basically an aquatic playground back here. You know, and, that, and that's what you gave me. You, you gave me an aquatic playground. The, I remember like a couple of times because when we yeah. started the process, it kept getting bigger. Yeah. And then yeah. finally you're like, can we take up the whole backyard? Yes. And then yeah. every once in a while you'd say, do you think I'm crazy? And as far as my point of view, yeah. I don't think you are. Because yeah. I think you're... This is something your family's gonna enjoy for yeah, years. I know. I did that and I thought that maybe that was my own business tactic to get together with you one time, just let you know, oh, I just wanna do something in the corner of the yard. And then from the first time I met you, I realized just getting a read on you, you know, how how wise you were and how good you were and how talented you were. I was like, you know what? I need to give this guy more of my money. <laughs> All right? So because I knew this guy would definitely um, you know, you know, he could come up with something like this. I the worst thing that I thought with having a project like this done is looking back at it and having a regret. Um, and for this, I look at it and I don't have a regret. And, uh, and, and that really helps too, just because my backyard is so small. Um, you know, so that really, I don't think I could have done anything else back here to be honest with you. No, and you know, I know you, it is, it depends on how you look at a small backyard, yeah. but it doesn't look small anymore yeah. because we maximize the space. Yeah. So. I, it's it is an, it's definitely an aquatic playground. Yeah, no, I mean, I, you come out here at nighttime. You come out on my deck, um, and it, I literally feel like I'm living on a lake, <laughs> even though my backyard is only 20 feet long. Um, you know, but that's the that's the type of feeling it gives you, and it's just, uh, man, it's amazing the transformation that took place. You know, from a before and after. I don't know. I mean, I, you know, in your experience. I, I would I have to think this has got to be one of your your, your top builds for before and after transformations. 
It is. It, it, and you know, it's, uh, I think what people don't realize too is that I love small spaces. And when you were, when you kept yeah. on like increasing the size of stuff, yeah. I'm like, this is going to be cool because yeah. this is what it's all about. I mean, yeah. grass is grass, yeah. but this is just a whole different environment. Yeah. And I, I really appreciate you letting us create it because this is the type of palette that we really enjoy. No, I just, um, I think it worked out amazing for you to be local and you have the ability you have and the resources you did. And, you know, for me to dream like this and to, and to, and to save for years and to have this, you know, in my own mind that, uh, you know, one day I wanted to do something wild out of this world that was undescribable. Um, you know, you definitely, um, I think it came together quite well. It was nice. And you put this beautiful fence in. So you yeah. know what I think is cool? Yeah. Nobody can see this yeah. unless you invite them in. And they're yeah. going to be blown away when yeah. they walk around yeah. the corner. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> For sure. Um, yeah, no, my kids and uh, anybody who comes back here, absolutely. It's, uh, it, it's a beautiful moment for sure, definitely. You know, one of the things that, um, you know, I always ask people is that it's the trust level because, you know, you have to have a certain amount of trust with, mm. with somebody when you're doing yeah. a project like this because... Yeah. You really don't know what you're going to get in a sense. I did a drawing, but yeah. it's nothing like the drawing. No, you're right. I, I don't think I would have trusted you if I didn't spend the amount of time researching you and, and watching videos and not even watching videos of you, but just watching videos of other Aquascape contractors throughout the world and understanding, again, who I'm dealing with. And, uh, you know, again, in my opinion that, you know, I really do feel like, um, you know, you're one of the best in the world. So I, I, I thought I had to take advantage of the opportunity, to be honest with you, you know, to be working with you. Because the way I see it, in a couple of years from now, you'll probably be booked up. You know, <laughs> you'll be booked up six months to a year in advance. You know, when people see a project like this at its price point, um, you know, who wouldn't want something like this compared to a pool? Um, you know, me and my kids, we hang out here all night long, ever since this has been on. We haven't, we haven't been on the shuffleboard table. We haven't been in the band room playing drums. You know, we've been sitting right here um, playing with the fish, um, you know, finding new frogs that have just showed up and jumping in the water. Um, so it's it's just amazing, you know, what it's done for our family, even in such a short time frame. To be honest with you, that's that's the biggest thing for us. That's why yeah. we love creating these these types of environment. And Mark, I want to thank yeah. you. Now you're part of the Decker family. Yeah, awesome, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate that, and I feel that. Um, I, and what's so cool about that too, as I hang out here at nighttime, you know, for sure. I mean, you know, you and your team have certainly come up and, uh, and my thoughts and my prayers and just, I'm, I'm just thankful and grateful that uh, you guys were local enough, you know, where I was able to work with you. Because if you guys were based out of, you know, the Midwest or, or even the West Coast, you know, I would have thought about maybe paying some money to have you guys come out here and how much, uh, you know, how, how much of a price point that would have raised this, this project up. And uh, for you guys to be local is awesome. Definitely awesome.